Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question 16 in the containers. Kubernetes runs in the containers before the main container. In this question, the net container retrieves configuration files from a remote location and makes it available to the application running in the main container. The configuration files are shared through a value mounted by both containers. Create a new pod in a YAML file named business-app.yaml. The pod should define two containers, one in the container and one main application container. Name the net container configurer and the main container web. The net container uses the image busy box to make sure you use the image node.js-read, etc. Expose the main container in port 8080. Edit the YAML files by providing the command for the net container. The net container should run a wget command for downloading the file and place this file in the directory user shared app. Start the pod and verify a net container. Start it and terminate it. So the container is running and volumes are mounted. Run the command curl localhost 8080 from the main application container. The response should render a database URL derived off the config file. Okay, welcome to our first task of question number 16. Create a new pod in a YAML file named business-app. The pod should define two containers, one init container and one main application container. We're going to name the, the, the init container configurer and the main container web. The init container uses the image busybox, while the main container uses the image from SpeedRacer 5 Dave Node.js Red config latest. Expose the main container on port 8080. All right, let's get started. We're going to create a YAML file with the main container, and we'll add a NIC container to the YAML file by editing. So if kubectl run, we'll call it new pod. Image equals busy box. And we're going to put it on port equals 8080. We're going to do a dry dash run equals clients. YAML. So we're going to call it business dash app YAML. Am I missing anything? Let's see. I don't think so. So we'll go ahead and enter. And we'll go and edit the file. That looks like a nice little file we got going here. And now we want to make the init container. So we'll come up here and we'll say INIT containers. I can spell container C O. And we have to give it a name. And we're calling it configurer. C O N F I G U R E R. And the image will be busy box. And whoop, I did make a mistake. The image here is going to be an image from my Docker directory and it's a speed racer 5 dave slash node.js dash read dash config dot list and I think that completes the first task so we'll save our file Let's move on to task number two. Okay, task number two. Edit the YAML file by adding a new volume of type empty dir 
and we're going to mount it user slash share slash app for both containers. All right, so let's, for, let's first go off and create the container because under spec, name, shared volume, shared value be deprivation, and it's going to be an empty dir. All right. Next, we need to mount the value for both our containers. So, volume M O N T S, no, M O U N T S, mount M O N T path. It's going to be USR shared app and the name shared ball. Excellent. And we'll do the next same thing for our other container. Call it volume MO. UNTS. Actually, we want this right there. And do we want, where do we want this one? Yeah, does that to go? Does that to all go in? It's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good there. All right, we'll go ahead and save the file. On to task number three of this question. All right, task number three is we're gonna edit the YAML file, provide the command for the init container. The net container would run a wget command for downloading a file from a directory on, on GitHub. So before we move on to that task, I want to just show an example here. I'm on the community's documentation. And if I type init pods, this is really a test tip. This is a pretty conf uh complex YAML file. I don't think I like this one. Do I like this? Yes, this is where I want to be. And this is a nice example of what basically the init container and another container. You see here's the init command just like we've done. Uh, one thing this doesn't show is the empty, empty uh, directory volume. But we've created those in the past but just in case you want need it or want an example. Uh, you can just type in uh, uh, volumes, I believe it is. I don't know. Whoops, I didn't spell that right. But so it looks like it came up. Volumes, then empty dir. And there's a nice example of an empty dir. So uh, it's really kind of key to know the documentation pretty well because it is, it is allowed on the exam. Just have to be quick with it. All right. So moving back on to our task at hand, we want to add the command file for the init container. So we'll come right there, right before the volume. Type in command, and we're gonna do a 
W get. Then a quote, quote, dash capital O. Then dash quote slash USR slash share slash app slash config uh, JSON of the video. And I believe that is what was asked of us. Yep, that should do it. All right, on the next one. Okay, now it looks like we're going to, the next task is start and verify. So do one final save, close editor, and let's see how we did. Line 17, the not expect the key. Looks like we need a quote here. Yeah, let's do another save. Close editor. All right, do a clear. QTL get pods. Error image pool. Well, let's see what our problem is. Cube CTL detail pod new pod. Cube CTL detail. Describe. I don't know where I got details. And it looks like failed to pull the image from B five Dave da 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 list. Let me insufficient access denied. Let me fire for insufficient scope. Let me check on that image. Here we can see the image. So I'm going to copy paste here. Did I have something wrong? So I'm going to minimize this. Go back to the code. And I'm just going to take this. Whoops. TST. Is that right? All right, I'm going to save it again. Change this to a delete. I'll do a looks like a pulled accessory this time, so that's excellent. I'll put both of those paths in the in the title of YouTube this way. It's not a problem. And looking good there. Cube CTL get pods. We're running, and let's just check out our just. Uh, our 
describe command here. You can see start the init container, pull the image busy box, and it did terminate, which is excellent. It the reason it terminated was completed, so that's good. Then it came down here, started our web container, and that's pretty good. Let's do a command you may not be familiar with. Hopefully I get it right. kubectl logs new pod. Of course that'll give us the logs of new pod. But let's see we have I don't know if we'll be able to get slash C this is for dash C for container. But we really see the logs for configure even though it has stopped. Yes. So that's looking pretty good there that got the file. So that's good news there. All right. We'll call that a completion of the task. Okay, and our final task of question 16, run the command curl localhost 8080 from the main application container, which is web in this case. The response should render a database URL derived on the config file. So, all right, so let's do a kubectl exec new pod slash it slash 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 bin slash sh. And if we do an ls onto the volume path we see our file config.json so that's good now for the task at hand and there you go so pretty 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 good there